My name is Gum Gum. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I knew this was hell. <laughs> First official roll of the campaign, boys. Roll me an Arcana check, buddy Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Nat 20 plus 3. <laughs> no. 23 first fucking roll of this campaign. Oh, oh no dude. way. It's going to be a fucking good one. My eyes are going to roll back into my head. He's having a seizure. <laughs> Guts goes over and like cups the back of his head ready for him to fall. You're doing it all wrong. Kind of smack his doing? face a little bit. If somebody's having a seizure, you want to put a piece of bark in their mouth. What the fuck? So they don't swallow their tongue. Oh, oh interesting here. genasi trick then, my friend. Are you gonna put the bark in his mouth? No, it's not my own. Of course. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Wait, somebody catch me bark from a nearby tree. How dare you guys? That's disgusting. You said it. But don't you feel almost like you're a part of those trees as well? How dare you? Are you kind of beckoning them closer as they? Yeah, I'm, get I'm beckoning them, and I'm definitely showing off these big anime tits. Drop your gear. Fuck off. Can I like grab a javelin out of my? Hello, no, fella. Calm down. <laughs> do it. Just take a deep breath, buddy. We'll figure this out. <laughs> Four minus one. You don't want this on your cautious. And I fucking will. Really Does he even need to roll? Yeah, the guy's dead. Fuck you. <laughs> yes! yes! Release is out of your hands at nearly mock speed, and with not even a bit of drop just splinters through his chest and out the other side. It's a big blade and as I'm sprinting and I'm gaining momentum, I'm hitting rocks every once in a while and there's sparks flying from my greatsword. And as I come up and I and like right up next to him and I up slash, it cuts him right in half, right up the middle. This is a disgusting display of violence. Today we're doing a very special Halloween stream. We're gonna go one by one and reveal our costumes. <laughs> I'm the two-time back-to-back 1993-94 Blockbuster <laughs> video game champion. What up, guys? Dude, how old are you? a cow! Yeah. 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 I don't have any. No idea you were saying uh, you were gonna be hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> My headset's on under this bitch, too. Hey! Oh! <laughs> He's a straight up dragonborn, dude. What's <laughs> happening? Oh, dude. Oh! Oh, oh my god. god. This man. No, it's really it's Dark Bryce. Uh, uh, it's what Dark Bryce. The fuck? Dark Bryce. <laughs> Are you guys ready? He's rectangular. Let's fuck yeah. you know, oh, ready. boys. Let's go, daddy. Tonight you call me mommy. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I did not expect that, dude. And I'll flick my collar out, prepare myself, and I'll strut to the front of the the party here and lead us through. Not so fast. I'll need a deception check. <laughs> Twelve. Something's up. Tell us why you're really here. I'm gonna run <laughs> away. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I cannot the, uh... sustain damage. I'm doing the run that, like, Captain Jack Sparrow does, too. Like... <laughs> Do you say you're leaving us, Twig Boy? On the morning, I will leave for Plum Water. I don't agree with this stuff. Why do you want to go with him? You just met him. It is part of my duty as an inventor. But you could help us with your inventions, mate. Look what you've done for us already. Oh, could you? What am I supposed to do without you and your knowledge? Fucking bastard. Son of a bitch is fucking leaving. I've only just met you guys as well. And yet you will remain in my heart forever. And that is why I will do anything in my power once this job is finished to find you again. Don't leave us, Sap. We you need know, Sap. The only family I've ever had. Stay safe, my friend. And until we you meet again. Well. I hope this time it doesn't take us dying to meet once more. You better not fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Is it normal to, like, you know, kill a bunch of people and then just, like, their friends forgive you and then ask them to, like, 
bury the people you killed? Absolutely not, mate. These people out of their fucking moss. Chase is meta critiquing my DMing right now. It's the type of metagaming I've never even heard of before. <laughs> I'm gonna make you make 15 characters in this fucking campaign. Don't you make me. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long campaign. <laughs> Everybody, thank you for stopping by. This is the Ad Advantage crew. Say hello, boys. Hello. 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 <laughs> um, we are starting up our Monday night tradition. Uh, this is the ninth session, boys. It's the ninth yeah. time we're here playing That's in the Shattered Virtues campaign. So, hell yeah, pretty wild to me. Um, so before we get to the recap. I went ahead and threw these dogs a bone and gave them a little level up. So everybody's going to roll for their HP here on the stream, um, just because I think that's fun. Uh, we re-roll ones. Uh, if you get a one, you get one free re-roll. And so we're oh rolling my. a six, right? Yeah. Well, you are. Everyone You're else. rolling. Everybody's <laughs> Okay, this here says hit dice 3d6. Do I roll all three of these? No, it's no. just because you're level just, three. Just, oh, okay. Yeah. Just roll. Okay, roll another d6. Got it. So, uh, who wants to go first? Sounds like Anthony just rolled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so excited. <laughs> I got a four. <laughs> nice. Hey, nice. That's, That's pretty, good. Uh, pretty middle of the road. That's above average, dude. Yeah, for you. That's what she said. Yeah, tell my girl that. Or she. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go with the Benny boy. How about you roll yours? All right, I'm throwing a D10. So. Come on. Hell yeah, brother. Come on, Got brother. This, brother. brother. Seven. I am more than happy with that. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> yeah. All right, are we are we gonna beat this beat this into the ground? Yes, we are. I'm going to do it on every <laughs> Right, she beat the it, seven it, <laughs> it, it works with every number. Uh, let's do Joel next. All right. Oli, oli. We're giving it a little kiss. There you go. And I rolled a four. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a D10. You should know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dev, what are you going to roll? All right, let's do it. That's let's a ten, it. dude. On the D ten? Oh no, D twelve. Oh shit, still that's really good. Hey, dude. That's... I'm at thirty. My measly D six. It's just your normal ass dice. <laughs> You're at thirty four. Oh my god. Oh yeah. boys. Two. Two. <laughs> no chance at a reroll either. Uh. You got shafted on that one. Shafted. I like that. I have a total of 22 HP. <laughs> 22, oh, I'm sitting at 20. Damn, brother. Right. Let me know, by the way, guys, if any of my, like, banging around makes too much noise, because I'm rocking the USB mic this week, so if uh, if I'm getting a little too rowdy and it's picking up, let me know. You sound Heard crispy. That. Heard that, fam. Cool. Well, that, with that, uh, can everybody just quickly tell me what your totals are? At uh, 34. Yeah, I'm at 34 too. Hey! I'm uh, sitting at 20. Nice. Uh, 22. Not bad, boys. What about you, Ben? 30. 30. Cool. Damn. Cool. Awesome. Well, we got that over with pretty quick, actually. So, uh, last week. Our adventures took us, well, I guess you were already down in the sewers after having a night's sleep. Losing sap was a big hit to the tribe, but when the tribe has spoken, the tribe has spoken. So um, you guys all uh, sort of woke up super, super hungover, got uh, some nice tea made for you by a little halfling woman. Uh, we're just kind of 
enjoying the moment as everybody you looked around to see had just like a newly ignited hope in their eyes. And without really any warning, you guys, uh, a couple of you noticed a ripple in the water before a huge wave flew through the tunnel system in the sewers, uh, taking out pretty much everyone except for Carter and um, Aaron. Uh, it completely ravaged the the sewers, uh, the sort of homestead that they had down there. Uh, it, it wiped people down further into the system, nearly drowning a couple of tabaxi children and successfully drowning uh, the drunk bartender that you guys had a couple of inter uh, encounters with, interactions with. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Um, R.I.P. R.I.P. Basically, uh, I think that the plan originally was to kind of do a little more scouting, a little more intel, and this overt act, this display of power from the king or the guardsman, you're not really sure who set off this, this wave, um, it sent you guys into sort of a vengeance mission. Uh, families were sent off to... Uh, Guts's old family home within the Crag Willow mountain ranges, and the rest of you guys set forth to head to the castle. After a pretty quick um, scouting from Little Fella, you guys found a good entry point to the castle and made it uh, made your way in relatively easily. Um, trying to think what else. Oh yeah. Um, you guys came up with a few different stories and decided to land on the fact that you were mercenaries looking to help um, help the king with whatever he needs help with. Uh, <laughs> just trying to... I don't think you really came up with a, a reason for why. It was just, you know, he's powerful and you're powerful, so let's yeah, help. It was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of stupid, wasn't it? Hey, but it worked flawlessly you you walked in like you owned the place you made your way across the bridge or across the causeway to the main front gate and talked the guard out there uh, into letting you into the castle you spent a few brief moments uh trying to figure out where to go um or what you'd like to do and as you were standing there awkwardly you got sort of interrogated or or um I don't know. You you were you were approached by this sort of hosh posh, gaudy sort of character that um, pointed out that you were all heading the wrong way. So you made your way into the mess hall because Gabriel and Aaron were hungry, and it's a place to stop to find out some info. You ended up eating some food along with Carter and Blackstrand, and. After pushing that first plate away, just couldn't get enough. And you go back for plate number two. So does Aaron. So does Carter and Blackstrand. And the rest of the party, what you're seeing is your 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 friends look relatively normal. They're they're going and dishing themselves up. And when you see that they come back to the table, they just they're sitting in front of this food with wide eyes and they're just Garfing it down as hard as they can. Oh, shit. <clears throat> and so that's where we're at. Go ahead and uh, let so, it be yours. Just to cut in real quick, right before we ended last session, I sent, or Casper sent a message to uh, oh. Gabe to try to snap him out of it. What was that yeah. message again? Just kidding me. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, howdy, partner. It's a. Uh... Time to go. Seems like you've ate your fill. We gotta keep moving. Uh, just, just one more plate. These are, these are the best fucking mashed potatoes I've ever had. I'll cast it again. Gabriel, it's time to leave now. Just, just one more plate. Join us. No more plates, Gabe. Uh, I think I'm gonna get another plate. <laughs> Is there any way I can persuade him, or? Uh, you can certainly try. Sure. You're, you're doing this uh, telepathically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
You want me I'm to still like visibly vision? frustrated by just like their gluttony, and I'm not even really realizing um, this whole magical effect yet. I'm just like I'm looking at them all like fucking pigs, like yeah, this whole stolen <laughs> food. We're on a mission and we're taking a fucking break right now. Like what the fuck? Like he head down, just like clearly ready to fucking go, just waiting impatiently. Daddy, should I roll persuasion? Yeah, yeah, of course. Three. <laughs> yeah, and you're you're sending him this message, and it's just not it's not getting through to him. He's just completely focused uh, solely on this plate of food that's in front of him. Hey, Mister Blackthorn, uh, guts. We've so got a little bit of a problem. What's going on, man? They're eating. What is it, mate? Well, I told Gabe to hurry up and be done already, but it seems like seems like the man just can't stop eating. Yeah, seems like a dragonborn thing. I'm not really sure, mate. I haven't dealt with him a lot. You're right. It probably they're, they're, is just a dragonborn thing. I mean, look at the size of them, but but seriously, they are very big boys. I didn't yeah. expect this from Black Strand and Carter, though. It's a bit odd. I'll uh I'll sit next to uh Aaron really quick. <laughs> Mr. Cross, uh I think it's time to uh, get out of here, yeah. Yeah, and I'm just like stuffing my face and I look back at you and I'm like spitting food back in your face as I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, have you tried the, the potatoes, mate? They're amazing. They're amazing. I just wipe wipe my food. <laughs> no. I don't want to. Well, we gotta kind of get going. Oh, after one plate, you've got to join me for at least one plate, mate. Matter I'm, of fact, I'm you're not hungry. Matter of fact, you're you're finishing up that plate too, and both both of you guys go ahead and roll me another wisdom check. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. What what's Blackstrand and Carter doing right now? Let's go. You yeah. see them both get up to go get a third plate. <laughs> Gluttonous fools. Um, as Blackstrand's getting up, I'm 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 gonna like meet him here and put a hand on him and try and stop him. It's a night. Blackstrand. Too. How could you possibly eat more, mate? You're so tiny. We need to go. This food is so good. I. I haven't eaten properly in days. I just, I haven't gotten my fill yet. You're on your, this, Blackstrand, this is your third plate. You know, small body, big stomach, and he just walks past you to go get another plate. What did you guys roll? 19 plus two. Six. Aaron, you, you are able to fight going to get another plate of food. Um, Gabriel, your your mind just can't stop. It's just so good and there's so much of it. And you go to get another plate of food and as you sit down to start eating it, um, make me a constitution saving throw. You are sitting there eating this food and you get this sharp pain it's sort of in your head. It feels like just a, a migraine that somebody just flicked a switch on and off really quick. You just get this intense pain in your head. And all of a sudden you just hear this cacophony of voices in your head men, women, young, old, gruff voices, different accents, and it's almost unbearable. It's all you can hear. I spit what's left in my mouth, the potatoes back onto my plate, and people are looking at me, and I put my hands over my head. And, Stop talking! Could I I'm just kind of crouched over for a second. Like, after I broke the kind of like feeling that I was in and followed him while he was still getting his food. 
Yeah, so this happened just sort of right after he started eating his next plate, so you could have just still been sitting there if you'd like. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna look at Gabe for a moment. Gabe! Gabe! Yeah? Gabe, there's something really, really fucking wrong with this film. Oh god, do you hear the voices too? I, I don't hear the voices, mate. But if you're hearing voices, there's something definitely fucking wrong with the food. <laughs> it was the potatoes! Fuck. <laughs> Fucking potatoes. <laughs> can, can we hear this conversation? Yeah, you're all sitting around this table, so you can hear that he said he's hearing voices and yeah, that it's what? the potatoes. I'm gonna like lean over the table and kind of smash my hands on the on the table. Um, silverware kind of goes clinging around. I'm gonna be like, what the fuck is going on here? Everyone's stuffing their face. Look around. We need to get the fuck out of here. And am I aware now, Tim, or am I still under the food spell? You are not compelled to go get more food, but as of this moment, uh, this is sort of a mechanic that I'm calling gluttonous. Um, for for the remainder of this wake period until you get a long rest, you will be um, considered encumbered. Oh, wow. fuck. Shit. What does that mean for him? Uh, I'm double checking the meaning right now just so I don't get this wrong. Hmm. Okay. So your movement speed is reduced by 20. Your ability checks, attack rolls, and saving throws that use strength, dexterity, or constitution are all at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah. Strength, dexterity, and what? Constitution. You've got wisdom, mate. I'm gonna send another message to Gabe. Well, have you had enough? Or are you ready to go now, Gabe? I think I've had enough. I don't feel well. And you don't even, you don't even catch his message in the cacophony of voices. It just gets lost in the sea of voices in your head. Yeah. And you, you hear, what you hear isn't like conversations being had. Just noise. It's. It's almost like thoughts. Mm -hmm. And do you hear Blackstrand's voice in your head saying, I can hear the voices too. Blackstrand, we got to get up. We have to leave. Do you say that out loud? Yes. Yeah, and he just nods at you and um, excuse me, and just sort of has this like really worried look in his face. And for such a hardened character like Blackstrand, it's, uh, you know, you saw similar similar facial expressions after the flood, but he looks genuinely worried. I'm going to discreetly stand up, uh, quietly walk over to a corner and stick my fingers down my throat and try to puke this shit up. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you, you heave. Uh, this is like full on projectile vomiting. Um, I, I think it's all out. But I still hear the voices. You do still hear the voices, yes. I'll send another message to Gabe. Gabe, get it together. We could do this in private. We need to move now. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Let's go. Can you hear me? What's completely, uh? Completely lost in the trend in the sea of voices. Gabe, what, sorry. what's yeah. Carter doing? <laughs> Carter finishing up his his plate and uh, sort of 
similar to Aaron, sort of snaps back to normal Carter. Um, and is just kind of sitting in front of you guys like, oh man, that was so good. Oh, I'm stuffed. I need to take a nap. Okay, I'm gonna, can I send a message to multiple people? I think it's just one. It's just one at a time. You have to point at the person you want to hear it. Okay, I'm gonna point at Guts. Guts? Ah. Grab Mr. Cross and Carter and let's get out of here. I'm gonna get Gabe. I'm gonna send a message to uh, Mr. Blackthorn to grab Blackstrain. Message is a oh. cantrip, right? Correct? Yeah. All right, just want to double check. Come on, Mr. Cross, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Hi, mate. Mr. Blackthorn, grab, grab Blackstrain and let's move. We'll figure this out in the barracks or somewhere where we're private. What about Carter? Guts has him. I'll get Gabe. All right, I'm on it. I'll wave and, uh, at Carter. I'm gonna chase down Blackstrand. Where, where is he? Uh, he's still sitting at the table. Um, and he just has this really sort of like perplexed, worried look on his face, and he's not really saying much at all. I'm gonna grab him by the shoulders and just kind of try and like gently gesture him to stand up by himself. Does he like comply with this? Do I have to fucking physically move him? Yeah, you see that he's very like very lost in thought. And as you sort of touch him, it, it jostles him a little bit and he kind of looks up at you and just <laughs> nods and says, yeah, yeah, we we need to get out of here. Yeah, it's time to go. Come on, mate. Let's go. All right. And I'll run over to Gabe. Gabe, look at me. And Why I, aren't you responding? I, I look at Casper and there's tears running down my face and I have puked up potato all over my chest. <laughs> Hold it together, Gabriel. We must move. I don't feel good, but let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna throw up. (laughs) (laughs) I already threw up, Gasper. I'm gonna grab my water skin and just hand it to him. Drink some water. You'll be all right. And I grab it and just, like, squeeze the whole thing into my mouth. Can we leave this like cook area and go to where the quarters are like the place where we where we were supposed to be sleeping yeah yeah and as you guys are sort of exiting the room uh you take notice now that you didn't really pay attention to when you got here but the people that were in here when you arrived like they had already been eating when you got there and they're still just getting more food and still getting up Jesus. and they haven't stopped since you've been there how long do you think these fuckers have been eating in here I don't know they but it's up. disgusting they might end up exploding if they just keep eating I can't imagine that that's good for you I do remember uh, one of those guys saying that Marcus ate a person. But uh, maybe these are the people he's eating. Hey, Mr. Cross and uh, Gabe, how you, how you guys feeling right now? Any <laughs> Not good. I I hear these noises in my head. It's, it's all I can hear. It's excruciating. It's Kind of noises. Not that. Yeah, noises. What do you? It what? sounds like it sounds like voices, but I can't determine what any of them are saying. It's just all at once. What the fuck is going on? Can you hear? Can you hone in on a voice, Gabe? Try to listen to just one. I mean, at one point I heard Blackstrand, but since then I haven't been able to pick up anything specific. I and I Blackstrand. close my eyes and I'll try, and I really try to focus and listen in. Make me an Arcana check. Guidance. Or, yeah, no. Arcana. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to try to fix something. I thought for sure he was going to try to fix something that I have at disadvantage right now. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, bro. Dirty 20. Oof. Still good. Yeah. <clears throat> you you sort of siphon through this this endless maze of voices 
and you're able to pick out these thoughts and they start to become clearer and clearer and as they do you're able to recognize that they're saying welcome that's it <laughs> Jesus. well you have a chance to respond if you'd like uh, hello uh, hello welcome to the network the network? It's Cortana. What? <laughs> what do you mean, the network? You'll soon realize. Are... Did you guys eat the potatoes too? <laughs> well, bits of this and bits of that. Are, are you alive? We're all alive. Where are you? And she doesn't respond to that. Are you okay? Am I gonna die? <laughs> and she doesn't She's respond to any nervous. of that either. Oh my god, oh my god. What are you hearing, Gabriel? Uh, it's just a couple of voices, real creepy like. <laughs> They're telling me, welcome to the network, and I can't get any other information out of them. As I look up from the group, I'm gazing around the cafeteria-like setting we're in. What, what do I see the others in the distance we, doing, this this packed hall? What, what What is everyone doing? We left already. Oh, did we? Yeah. yeah. Where are we? Are we in the hallway? Where, where are we at? Yeah, you're making your way to the sleeping quarters right now. Yeah. Just and you had noticed when you guys left the mess hall that everybody that was there when you got there was still there and they're still just getting up and eating more food. Holy shit. <clears throat> Fuck. It kind of <laughs> sounds like a, like a hive mind of sorts, like, yeah. like yeah. bumblebees or something. I'm not sleeping here. There's I, no I way I'm to, resting here. I have to... I have to sleep. Gabriel, do, does it feel like they're controlling you? Uh, it doesn't feel like they're controlling me, but... Do you still it sounds have like... free will? Put your hand up. Right hand. Okay. Smack yourself. Okay. Casper, are you controlling Gabriel? Yeah, smack that. <laughs> are you the network? I am the network. <laughs> well... Honestly, it sounds like you might be our inside man, Gabe. This might be a good thing. Well, it's, they're clearly withholding information from me. They won't answer any questions. Just being real creepy. Creepy. I'll try closing my eyes again. Please, tell me more about this network. And I'm persuading them. <laughs> well, you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> I do. I do know. Ooh, ten. <clears throat> All will be learned in time. The network Wait. has great power. You must learn to harness it. Okay, ask her what she wants from you. Or it, or they. I don't what? know if it's necessarily what? a woman. What all do you want from me? I want nothing in particular from you. You know, they say two minds are better than one. I'm under the impression that as many minds as possible is the greatest. Okay. I think you're right, and I agree with that mindset. And I'm, I'm here to support the cause. What's next? It, it doesn't work like that, silly. Oh, okay. Well, do I just sit around and wait? It takes time to absorb information and knowledge. 
Give yourself time, Gabriel. Okay. Guys, I think we're gonna have to kill Gabriel. <sighs> we're not killing, not Gabriel. killing Gabriel, Casper. Oh. He's under some magic trance of some Wait, kind. We... I'm not under a trance. I can just Everyone hear Everyone who ate is. It may How many plates useful. did you eat, Gabriel? Four, oh, <laughs> five plates? No. It's a nice laundry hamper you got there. Two and a half. And then I spit the potatoes out. Ross, what were you trying to say? Mate, we might be able to use it. It may prove useful. I agree. But it's not telling me anything now. It says, all in time, things will be learned. And I can't persuade him. Keeping a close eye on that guy. Esper. I'll kill you before you kill me, mate, okay? I'm not harming anyone, but don't tempt me. Well, boys, what do we do? Do we sleep it off, or do we go straight for the King Marcus? I'm not sleeping here. We need to get the fuck out of here. I'm really tired. I'm also really tired, but I don't know if I'll lose the voices if I go to sleep. I think we should go find Marcus. But I feel slow and groggy. Listen, listen. all for sleeping, say I. I'm kind of sketched out, but I, uh, I am tired. I don't know what to do. I feel really sick and slow. Listen, I'll, we'll, some of us will keep watch. If, if people need rest, maybe that'll end your affliction. You guys think if I fall asleep, it'll sever the connection I have with this otherworldly hive mind? That might be a good thing, Gabriel. Well, Gabe, I've read a lot of books, and I, I've heard when you hit your head, you're not supposed to sleep after, and this could be just like that. I didn't hit my head, though. I just ate mashed potatoes. It could be like it, though, mate. You never know. Similar. Similar in a way. <laughs> All right, well... I, I think the longer we stay here, the more likely someone's going to be like, hey, I saw some suspicious mercenaries come in the front gate. And then our story falls apart. I think we should go straight for Marcus now. I'm with that. I'll, I'll, do, what, blood. I'll do whatever you guys think is best, but I will drag behind. I feel <laughs> sick. <laughs> That's I won't be able game. to do the normal badassery that I usually do. We have no idea what you're referring to. I think you clearly do. <laughs> Remember when I jumped off that roof? Now's not the time. We need to figure this out. Okay. <laughs> we got nothing to figure out. We, we, we must want. kill Marcus. Na now move. or never. I agree with Casper. And it's true that Mr. Blackthorn and I are the smartest of the group. I wasn't okay, going to say it, Casper, but it is true. We are I'm learning man. you. Blackstrand, what do you think? Uh, it's hard to think much right now, but I'm in the same boat as Gabriel. I hear these voices. It's driving me crazy. I, if it's possible to sleep it off, which I don't know, I'd, I'd be remiss not to try. Right, then uh, I'll keep the first watch by the door. Everyone who needs it, get some rest. There's a bad I'll idea, boys. I'll try something boys. really quick, mate. Of course. I'm going to rub my hands together, and um, I'm going to use my lay on hands pool um, with a 5 HP, and I'm going to either try and cure disease um, or neutralize a poison, if there was a poison that was in the food. Um, just try and see if it works on uh, Gabriel, real quick. <clears throat> yeah, you. Do you want to have any, you know, any flavor on how you're casting the spell on him, or just kind of roll with it? Yeah, I, I mean, I just kind of like fold my hands together and kind of just they, they light up and I place them on his chest, uh, around his stomach. Or something like that. Oh, your hands are so warm. And you feel your energy seeping, seeping out of your hands, 
and the healing magic gets absorbed by Gabriel. But Gabriel, you still hear these voices in your head. It didn't help, Aaron. Perfect. Thanks for trying, though, instead of just being mean to me. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of with Casper here, boys. I don't think it's a good idea that we stay in this castle for one more night. I think if we're going to attack, we attack now. Let's move now. I'll take the front. I think I have a way of getting us in. You guys are just going to have to trust me. Hey, let's go. All right, mate. Let's do it. Roll I'll follow yours. behind Casper. I'll follow the dog. Daddy, we're just looking for anything that looks like the right way to the top. <laughs> I know the <laughs> following. <laughs> the One way <laughs> to the top if you want to rock and roll. Um, yeah, a little flavor on it. Yeah, go ahead and... Flavor town, baby. Make me an intelligence <laughs> roll. Oh, I'm intelligent as fuck, boys. Guidance. I hope you roll Believe one after seven. Guidance, Science? bitch. Ooh, a natural 20. Let's go, dude. My, my nat 20 got a little... Oh, that's is that sick. dice weighted? Is that dice it. fake? Fake roll. <laughs> dude, so, that was my first nat 20 so ever. So fucking salty, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Take us to that's the top, sick daddy. That's a sick-ass dice, though. Holy shit. Take us to the top. <laughs> yeah, you... Um, surprisingly enough... Uh, just a, a little guy from the shadow fail um, who's not really been around these massive sort of castles with winding causeways and balconies and you make a couple of wrong turns you, you head down the hallway that you're already moving towards um, and you see it split off left to right and you look out to the right and there's <clears throat> a beautiful um, balcony lit with these enchanted sort of arcane um, lights that sort of just seem to float and dance around in the the alleyway or uh, sorry the the balcony area um, you see another hallway that leads up and you you just begin to instinctively follow your your intuition here and you sort of wind in throughout this castle um you pass by people now and then but you guys have done a pretty good job about just sort of looking like you're meant to be there can i stop for a second of course i close my eyes and i try to listen in on the voices again and try to hear anything that might help us out i rolled a natural 20 asshole we're getting there <laughs> I'm not talking about directions, dog. Um, you hear different things. You hear sort of nervous thoughts like what's what's going to happen to me? This is this is strange. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. And you you hear people that are thinking deeply and having sort of very real life thoughts like and my daughter is getting older I'm gonna have to find her a man there's not many men out here but none that i'd leave her to anyways this we're trapped right now anyways i can't I can't find a way out of here and you do get some some sort of far off sort of like a like a menacing sort of laughter like a <laughs> as this is happening you guys are walking through sort of an open space the rest of the party you see Blackstrand sort of just stop in his tracks, his hair standing on end, and Gabriel, you get this same feeling too, like this tingle down your spine, and the weight of the room just falls upon your shoulders. 
like a thousand pounds. And you feel it crushing you. And you just look up and out of the corner of your eye, you see walking with his back turned to you, a very large man with black hair pulled back into a ponytail. And you can just see from behind the, ma the makings of a little bit of a beard. He's wearing these these furs, these mink furs, these these very regal, just very finely crafted rings on his hand. He holds a scepter. Uh, very finely crafted with a gigantic ruby at the top of it. Ooh. And he steps away from you. And as you look up to him, you see him turn and look at you with a little bit of a grin as he walks further into the castle. And he was wearing a crown. This was King Marcus. Oh, shit. Did we see him physically or did he see him in his head? You all saw him physically. The only thing that Gabriel and Blackstrand would have noticed that you guys didn't was just this oppressive weight, this this intensity that just made them stand on end and it like borderline giving you guys the frightened condition just like absolutely a menacing feeling ran through your body and through your bones oh oh shit that was him guys it was definitely fucking him fuck should we, should we chase him down? Uh, yeah, We're gonna no follow. Follow, he's probably leading us to our death. We, should, we shouldn't just walk behind him, follow him in. We, we've got to figure out a, a way to catch him off guard. He, he surely knows we're here. But he doesn't know that we're after him. He just, he has no uh, idea who we are. He looked at us and laughed. Are we going to try and speak to him? I think we should. I think we definitely should. I think we should offer him our services and then kill him when he turns around. Okay. It'll be all right. Okay. Gabriel, what are you thinking when when he mentions this? Like, what's what are your thoughts going through your head? Boys. Well, I'm thinking that I felt all that weight and I could tell by his maniacal laugh that something's planned. And that he knows that something's not right. And considering he looked over his shoulder and smiled at us. Oh, boy, sir. I kind of liked what Oreo said at the start. We should maybe think of a way to surprise him. I don't know if following him into the darkness is the best way to approach this. Oh, he, he definitely fucking knows we're here. For him. I felt the evil. I could hear his horrible laugh. It, something doesn't feel right. I don't. Now it's not the time to back down, guys. He doesn't know who we are. Of course he's fucking I, evil, mate. He, he's controlled by a sin. Maybe he laughed because he knows you're one of them now. You're, he thinks you're his minion. The network. Then, wouldn't the he network. know that we're all coming then? Can you read your mind? I don't know, but I could hear him laughing and he looked at us pretty fucking creepily. Listen, if this is a network, a hive mind type of fucking magic we're dealing with, and everyone in here who's been eating the food surely is of the same mind. Who's not to say the same eyes? Well, King he's Marcus got a whole been watching the whole time. Blackthorn, he's got a whole castle. I think he would have attacked us if he knew we were coming for him. We're overrun. We're sitting ducks in this castle right now. You're right. We shouldn't dilly. We should just go through with the plan. I think we have to decide now. We either leave right now, think this through, or we attack. No, let's, let's fight. We need to go in. We're this far. We're this close. I'm not leaving. Cross, Gabe, how are you guys feeling? 
I'm ready for blood. Whatever you guys think. Hang in there, Gabe. We're gonna get you better. Need you in this fight, Gabriel. I'll try my best, but I'm telling you what I just felt was not good. If we can abolish the sin, maybe we can abolish your condition as well as all of the other people in this castle. Then we'd have it's a true. fucking army behind us. It's true. It's true. True. Let's follow. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you guys... You guys begin to follow uh, the direction that King Marcus started heading towards. He passes through these large, ornate doors with silver ring handles that just fell clattering lightly against the, the metal, the metallic framework of this door as he steps in. As you guys sort of pass through some small groups of people that are all sort of locked in their own conversation, not really paying much attention to you. One figure, a rather brawny, uh, brawny looking um, human woman comes stepping around the corner at you. She's got this piercingly white platinum hair that's braided and uh, lays at her back about a little bit further than shoulder length. She's got um, this magnificent looking plate armor with a very finely polished shield and very finely polished um, sword in her scabbard at the side. And she steps up to you and says, Ah, no, no, no. What are we doing here? I am going to approach. I'm going to cast suggestion. And I'm going to tell her, go get Marcus and tell him to meet us in that room over there. She's going to point to a random room. <laughs> <laughs> What's the DC? Uh, it is a wisdom save of 14. And she puts can her I, hand. Can I reword it before you tell me the result? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, I'm going to say it a little nicer. We're here to see Marcus. We have a meeting and we would like to meet him in that room over there. And she Please just sort of retrieve him. She puts her hand on. Do you have did you touch her for that? Is that a touch spell? No. OK. She reaches out and puts her hand on your shoulder and says. Well, if you have a meeting with Marcus, then. I don't know why it would be necessary to cast silly spells on me. Oh. Suggestion, they don't know if if it if it doesn't work. Oh, OK, so it's different than like dominate being or something. like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. she'll just she'll just find it as like an odd request, but she won't know it's a spell. OK, then she just touches your shoulder and says, well, if you have a meeting with Marcus, then. I'm sure he'll be here to see you soon. Perfect, but he doesn't know we're here yet, so if we could uh, get the ball rolling, we are busy busy men and we got places to be well and the king marcus is very busy as well i'll try to fetch him but i cannot promise you he won't take his time finishing what he needs to what is that what's he up to not that it's any of our business we're just a curious bunch let me persuasion check at disadvantage because she's already very skeptical of you. Twelve. Well, even I do not know what the king gets up to from time to time. But I am in need of going in there as well, so... I will make him known that you are here and ready to have your meeting. 
and she turns, her braids sort of swaying as she turns and sort of on one heel steps towards the king's doors and walks inside. Oh God, oh God, oh God, boys, I'm sorry. I tried something crazy and it didn't work. I'm just sweating profusely. (laughs) Boys, I might have blown our cover. Is there any other guards in this area? Um, yeah, you see like a handful of guards. Um, they're not really like posted up in front of the door or anything. They're sort of in conversation. There's probably groups of small groups, two to five, you know, people in each group. But they're sort of strewn about this sort of open, um, this open area of this castle that you're in. Well, is she like? Did she go into a room that looks very important? Like maybe Marcus is in there. Uh, you kind of trying to peek in as she's walking in the room. Is that what you mean? I guess I'm just trying to get a vibe. But like, where at in the castle are we? Are we like in a big hallway that leads to like a his like meeting room, or does it look like we're in like a chamber area? Yeah, so it doesn't doesn't really look like you're in a chamber or anything like that. You're not like you've moved your way up through this castle, sort of piecing together what may be the right direction. And only because you roll the natural 20, you found yourself in this sort of it almost looks like um, like a really fancy waiting room. Like there's chairs and and sort of tables strewn about. There's chandeliers overhead and um, groups of people that are sort of standing up here that maybe are trying to talk to the king or maybe um, this is just where they found to spend so a few minutes for a conversation. We get the impression that he might be on the other side of that door. Well, you watched him walk through that door. Okay. okay. You're muted. Anthony. You're muted. She followed, no? She did. She went in after him. Oh. Let's kick down the door, boys. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just follow her in. This is the moment where we either go back to to the place where we died or we live on to be heroes. <laughs> fuck it, we're here. Either fuck we it, go mate. back to Geisha or we be heroes. So inspirational. <laughs> it's now or never. Guts, lead the way. <laughs> let's fucking go, boys. Woo! Let's go. She's gonna fucking all fours, dude. Just. Good, good, good. That's my dog. Yeah, fuck it. Let's charge in. I'm gonna I run got that too. dog in me. I'm gonna look back as I start to charge behind Guts. Oh, I'm following. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. Well, oh, we're actually doing this? Okay. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> okay. Um, we either kill this guy or we fight an entire castle worth of people, so. Yeah, we need to go now. I'm running in, dude. I'm following you, Guts. Every single one of you go ahead and make me a strength check. Okay. I'm gonna rage while I'm fucking running in this bitch. I was hoping you would. Mine's at, mine's at disadvantage. Yours is at disadvantage. 14. 14 plus 3, 17. 18. 13. Same. I rolled a 19 plus 3, but. Oh, wait, no, that would be a. Oh, I know. You're right. It, it. Am I? Okay. You guys all bust into this door, and sorry, I'm just trying to get this map open for you. For some reason, it didn't save when I imported it to. Uh, to hey, Albert. take your time. No worries. You're good, buddy. You're fine, bro. Gravy, bro. You're gravy. We could sing you guys a song while we Don't talk about like... gravy. <laughs> Uh, 
Where's my No, 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 please. <laughs> Not again. Oh, I have 10 feet of movement. Correct? Yeah, you're, you're yeah. fucked, fatty. Oh, <laughs> Five, six, seven plays deep, dude. No, I was two and a half, dude. <laughs> why, why are you keep exaggerating? I saw him at least 12. No, we were going in for a third, and then halfway through, I was like, uh. in, in your front is covered in throw. Yeah, dude, I, got, <laughs> I got puked up potatoes all over all me. Fuck. It's a stinky. Hey, we're here to see the king. This guy and I vomit. You <laughs> we're just a hot mess. <laughs> He's our fucking mercenary leader. Yeah, dude, the potatoes got to me. Just drop it. Too. Holy Aaron shit. got lucky. I did. I got very lucky. You did. I was about to bitch slap him. <laughs> Let's <gonna> try this. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for your patience. I got it pulling up here now. Oh, damn. That's fucking sick. Oh. What? This the... one I did not make. Oh. Uh, Turkographer. Uh, oh, just followed shit. him this last weekend here on Patreon. <laughs> he damn, makes some dude. insane maps. This is so dope. Yeah, we'll put him right there. Dude, that throne too at the front, top. Yeah, get this whole room, bro. God, that's fire. God, God. Oh, almost dropped. Yeah, that would have made me cry. No. Almost Don't what? Bring him up. I almost put sap out there. Oh. And it would have made me cry. Okay. How many seconds after this woman had closed the door do we come bursting into this room? Let's knock the bitch on the ground. Like five, yeah. Five seconds. So we're right behind this bitch. <laughs> Ideally. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, she is sort of up here on the rugged floor. She's maybe... Oh, okay. 50, I thought that was water. I thought that room. was water, too. Yeah, no, it's just a sort of interesting marble okay, yeah. sort of awesome. texture. Um... This is really annoying because I just I set this all up the other day and I couldn't find it anywhere. It's good, bro. It's all right. Wow, I like her little icon. It makes me so mad. The people She's are here us. You're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you say that out loud? No, not until we get through the door, bro. Oh. Yeah, dude, that, that isn't people, dude. What are you saying, dude? You can't marry a woman? Yeah, I can't catch a baddie, bro. Come on, Come on dude. Come you on, can man. still catch your baddie guts. Thanks, dude. Yeah, he's just because he's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody touch my trap, queen. Seventeen thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both on that at exactly the same time. That was yeah. perfect. Okay. All right, final touch here, and then I'll be ready. Thank you again for. Thank you uh, again for your patience tonight. If you're watching, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, really helps us out a lot. Nah, they all clicked away. Like, <laughs> like damn, these maps are taking forever. They're taking so long. This fucking guy doesn't Henry. even know how to DM. <laughs> all right. 12 to 10, dude. We're losing them. <laughs> so, so you guys all just sprint. Sort of, uh, sort of shoulder checking these people as you're running towards this door. You've got about a, a 15 foot head start and every single one of you just slams your shoulder. Guts jumps in and just puts all four feet on the door and you all come ultimate blasting punch. through this sort of metal <laughs> door. The, the hinges um, that hold the center of the door together, they kind of come into lock, get bent out of the way and snap as you guys roll tumbling into this room. Um, some of you uh, sort of 
on your knees, some of you standing upright. And as you take in the the room around you, it's very dimly lit. It's this humongous throne room with columns that stretch to the ceiling that are 40 or 50 feet high, um, vaulted in the center, maybe close to 65 feet. Um, you see this very, very um, articulate looking marble uh, pathway in front of you um, about, oh, let's see here, get the old measure tool out. About 60 feet ahead of you is Kaldi, um, the woman who you spoke with before entering the room. Um, beyond her, you can see King Marcus sitting atop his throne, and he is eating uh, like a plate of like basically like ham hocks, and he's just chowing down on the meat um, and sort of paying not a whole lot of attention to the fact that you're there. However, Kaldi does whip around and look at you all. Well, that was very brazen of you. Um, I told you I would fetch him. But since you're here, you can have your cold. Thanks. Yeah. I'm gonna hide behind Aaron. That's all we wanted. It's like... I think we, uh, we're all gonna approach. Yeah, fuck it. Are we still running, boys? Are we just full charge all the way up there? Or are we? I'm kind of waddling in the back. I'm kind of feeling like we just fucking attack. I think we go full <laughs> charge, just like Braveheart style. Just Braveheart style. This is Freedom! a how, 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 how like 200 how, how long is this? Let's make sure that there ain't no anything fucking weird that's going to snap out of the ground. Or hanging from above. I think, realistically, if we charge through the door, we're probably not invested. We're probably like balls deep in. We're fucking well, beeline can, it, baby. You can. You got a bit of a run here. You can take a look around <laughs> if you'd like to see if there's any traps around. I mean, guts is halfway. We get tired. Right? <sighs> yeah. Let's just let's just slowly. Walk Hold on. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna get there and we're gonna kick your ass. Or just wait. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. just fucking make our way there. He and Black so Strand, fast. Black Strand, and Gabriel both have a run speed of twenty, so they're just like maybe <laughs> like trying to speed walk behind you if that's the case. Let's... I'll just pick fucking Black Strand up, dude. Uh, I don't like being held, but okay. Yeah, you're slow, homie. Too bad. Uh, I'm sorry, it's the mashed potatoes. <laughs> hey, Carter. Give Gabe your belt. He needs it. I'd love to give him my belt. You know, I think it would just look great on him. Um, actually, I don't. I'm keeping my belt, but mainly because of the fact that he would have to attune to it. So unless you want to sit here for about 30, 40 minutes, uh, he's, <laughs> he's not going to benefit from it much. It's having this conversation in this fucking doorway. Uh, no, as we're running. I'll be there soon, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I'll catch up. Like anime style, like running, talking, dodging. Yeah, dude. I'm just doing cartwheels. <clears throat> no, I'll uh, I'll start making my way forward. Me too. I'm not gonna yeah. run. What's your marching order? Guts. You guys just all going like like how you're sort of laid out here or does anyone want to take point I'm i do want to kind of be in the I'll front go. yeah i'll go front uh, oh we'll go in a trio like a fucking like goose like formation on football we're gonna we're look playing like... uh some zone defense as we're making our way up <laughs> for, <laughs> for the sake of time i'll just move my guy up here so we're not just clicking Okay, I'll do the same. Yeah, might as well. As we're sprinting. Then we come to an abrupt stop. Pump the brakes. Elbear's not my friend tonight. It's okay. I can help me move something. There we go, I'm gonna black string up there. 
There's fucking guards up here. I, didn't I think Black Strain and Gabriel, yeah, sort of lagging behind. Cool. Nerds. Alright, boys. Nerds. <laughs> Is okay. this a wedge in front of us, or is this just a different pattern on the floor? Uh, directly in front of you? Yeah, like, like past where... Um, yes, that's a ledge. There's, There's stairs right here. Uh, yeah. These Uh-oh. these areas are stairs. Uh, oh, okay. This is sort of a ledge. This is probably only, you know, five, ten feet full. It looks Nothing like the that drone would... is up on an elevated platform as well with stairs. Yeah, the elevated platform is closer to fifteen feet high up where the throne sit uh, up where the throne sits. Okay, fifteen feet. Heard that. He moved so fast. Well, it's only about a hundred and fifty foot walk or so from the entrance to there, and you spent a minute or two just sort of talking to to Caldi, trying to get in there, so it's not like he moved with unnatural speed to get there. Gotcha. All right. Um, All right, Jasper, take the floor. Apparently, you have a meeting with these individuals. I tried to tell them I'd fetch you, but alas, here they are. And he's just sort of still just eating this plate of meat, just staring into your souls. And I'm still walking up as they're done. It's winded. Uh, Marcus, we have business with you. Marcus? <laughs> he's, he's straight up eating his food. He's listening. You get the impression that he's listening, but you haven't said anything worth garnering his his voice yet, is how he sort of looks like he feels. Fuck. I'm gonna look at Aaron. Fuck, mate, what? I thought he would say something. What do we do? Marcus. I see the way you've, um, brought this city to your own. Molded it. Shaped it. Kind of like what you're doing here, mate. You know, I want in. And Gabriel, as they're they're starting to speak with King Marcus, you are just sort of stumbling up these last few stairs, just trying to make it. And you hear in your head. <laughs> you can tell your friends I know why they're here drop the facade guys guys <laughs> he knows the truth I can I can hear him the voices they're clear I told you I told you something was up he knows Then let's dance, baby. Yeah, can I cast a spell? Yeah, yeah I'm gonna, ca- I'm gonna cast a spell too. <laughs> yeah, oh, we are. Can cast we attack? Everybody, roll me initiative. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Sir. I feel like after the last two sessions, like no combat, you guys are fiending for it right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, rolling physical. Let's just rush in the fucking that room fucking room twenty, <laughs> oh, that fucking twenty. Let's roll some dice. That one. <laughs> oh. Damn, that hurts. That one. That's a three. Okay, I've got twenty for Aaron. I got twenty. Dirty twenty though. Nice. Okay, you'll go next. Plus two. Seventeen. Seventeen, Gabriel. 16, Casper. It's about to go down, man. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Got more to roll for. Yeah. 
And no uno más. Wow, that is a ton of fucking. Ton of fours. Okay. All right. Uh, first up in initiative is going to be Aaron, obviously, with that nat 20. Fuck Good yes. boy. Uh, Good boy. I. Let's see. What are you going to fucking do, bro? What are you going to do, huh? What are you going to do? Bro, I'm, hey, I'm going to straight up just fucking. Um, I'm going to cast Bane right off the bat and um, basically like I, I just like take my great sword to the sky and it like glows like this greenish kind of like almost kind of like um, like if you've ever seen a necromancer kind of like I, I know we have one in the party but like this green smoke and um, I, I cast at three different targets um, I'm going to cast at the bitch right in front of me um right here i'm also going to cast at king marcus and then one of his guards and it's a dc 12 save yes guards and what type of save is it you said wisdom uh charisma charisma um, you notice it doesn't take effect on the guard or the king, but it does okay. take effect on Kaldi. Okay, uh, perfect. So, um, now, uh, let's see. What's the effect? What does that cause? Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, whenever a target that fails a saving throw makes an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, which is one minute, uh, the target must roll a d4 and subtract a number from her attack roll or a saving throw. That has three nice. targets. Cool. Um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run up with the rest of my movement. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get up right on Caldi. <clears throat> and that's my turn. Okay. Um, next up is going to be Guts. All right. Uh, mm. How high is that ledge? About 15 feet high. Damn it. <laughs> I'm just going to jump that. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'll, uh... I mean, it is made out of, like, like stones, and there's sort of these intricate carvings in there. You You're can gonna... attempt to climb it. It would just be a relatively hard DC to climb. Nah, that's fine. I'll, uh... Let's see. Yeah. Move right here. Right in between these guys. And, uh... I'll look at the one closest to me and be like, this concerns none of you were here to destroy the evil within your king and that'll be my turn oh i'll be in like a defensive stance though ready for a reactive stance i guess okay yeah like ready out okay. in case one of them uh, comes up on you yeah okay uh gabriel and then casper you're on deck Three. okay I am going to, uh, I'm going to run over to Casper. You might need this. And I put my hand on his shoulder and from where I'm touching him, it starts to glow and you kind of see the spark go throughout his body and I cast resistance on him. So, uh, one willing creature, uh, target can roll a D4 and add the number roll to one saving throw of its choice. It can roll the die before or after making the saving throw. Spell then ends. A d4. Okay. Yeah, and then I back up a little bit. That ends my turn. I know that this is not the right one, but I'm just going to put that hexed status on her just so I can remember that she's baned. Cool. Gabriel, thank you so much. Use it wisely. Uh, next up, Casper. Okay. 
I'm going to attempt to cast. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. How big is that? Oh. So, so. Fuck it. I'm going to cast web on King Marcus. Okay. It is a deck save of 14. If he fails, he is restrained, cannot move, and the webs are flammable. Um, that was a, you said it's 14? A deck save, yes. Deck save, yeah, it was only 13, so. He failed? Um, yeah, he failed, but he's gonna use a legendary resistance to pass instead. You motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> okay, and then I am going to... Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. And my turn there. I'll move yep. a little bit, like right here. All right. <sighs> Fuck. Next up is this first guard. He's going to step in towards Guts with his blade drawn. Um, Don't you fucking do it. As he swings in at you, you can sort of use your held action to attack him as well. So this is going to just be a clash of the swords. Fantastic. I'm not rolling this metal dice anymore tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's how I feel. It's cool, but it's a lot. That's a 21 to hit. That definitely hits. Uh, he only rolled a 12. All right. So as we strike, I uh, my sword grazes against him and just like this red lightning just starts fucking flickering. And I'm going to hit him with Divine Fury as well. And that'll be a seven plus 11. So 18 Ooh. points of damage. God damn. 18 points? Fuck yeah. That's what's up. Insane. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. And you see that it, it definitely shakes him like he was not expecting you to react <laughs> and get an attack on him as he was walking in to attack you um, but you perfectly parried his sword and and shook him a bit with that i told you not to fucking do it okay next up is uh going to be caldy um She's going to um, pull her shield out, put it on her sort of on her wrist because it's sort of on her back. So that's going to take an action. And then as a bonus action, she's going to um, swipe her um, her secondary weapon at Aaron. Almost went for that metal dice again. I've been rolling with it so low, but I just keep going back just like the potatoes. <laughs> uh, man, none of my dice are rolling well. Ten. Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> That's what we like to hear, Daddy. I'm gonna like dodge out of the way and be like, Cowdy, Guts is right. We need to fucking take Marcus on together. Are you under some sort of affliction? You're saying that to Caldy? Yeah. Um, you see this sort of sinister smile creep across her face. She says, "We're all in this together." Um, and I, you just can sort of p two plus two that to realize that she's kind of just talking about the same hide mind thing, but yeah, 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 that Gabriel's sort of been dealing with. Okay. Does it sound like she's the one that's been talking to Gabriel? So I was just about to ask. Um, well, she has a similar voice. Yeah. But you you don't you don't really know for sure. She does have a little bit different accent than the voice that you heard in your head. Yeah. 
I, I've only got so much range with women. No, dude. Is... <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't sound exactly. It was there was a difference. Yeah, there was a difference. It was less Cortana. It was. It's still similar though. Where I was gonna ask. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. Uh, yeah, y y you're not sure, but you don't think so. <laughs> um, next up is going to be King Marcus. Oh no. Oh, he is going to he's going to stand up um and step forward towards you all. This is enough. And he's going to jump off of this and land in the center of all of you. And he's going to immediately just get this inhale and go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw as he tries to Kirby your asses. Oh. What about me? Am I all right? Am You're I all right. Well? Just the ones in front of him. Oriel, Carter, Gabriel, and Blackstrand. Really okay. just Oriel, Carter. Yeah. Oriel and Carter, actually. You're, you're a little too far away. Sorry, Gabriel. All right. Sorry, you don't gonna, get to get Kirby. <laughs> I was going to be like, what? I'm way Fuck, back here. Dude. Fuck. No. <laughs> Seven. I'm dead. Is sucked up, dude. I'm dead. This is it. <laughs> you get sucked into this vortex. And as you're just getting close enough to him, he just reaches out and grabs you by the neck. Um, Bl Black Strand same deal with his other hands so you're just both being held by the neck no like fucking is. way oh my fucking god um he is going to take this moment to just spike both of you into the ground <laughs> oh this shit, oh, shit. <laughs> this guy's a fucking beast oh no he sucked us into his hand yeah, he he was sucky. His 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 breath weapon is what I'm calling it, even though it's not really like a dragon breath weapon or anything like that. But it it just basically is like a Kirby move. Like it yeah. sucks you towards him. Oh and my so god! So you just like got magnetically drawn, and he just snatched you out of the air as you were. Wow, um, bro. That's going to be. Uh, where is my other D? Do I need it? Oh, there it is. Holy shit. <laughs> what is that, that is going to be 12 damage bludgeoning as you guys are spiked into the ground fuck me dude 12 really <laughs> 12 really hurts <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god I'm like now I'm I'm bloodied that that almost did me in. How much damage was it? Twelve. Twelve. I'm not looking good. No. <laughs> I'm crunched into the ground. Does it does it damage the the beautiful marble we're on? I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it kicks up like a little bit of dust, but it doesn't quite crack the marble. Oh my god. How's Blackstrand look? Uh, Blackstrand looks fucking hurt. Um, oh no! He's, he's just squished on the ground. Uh, let me double oh. check. Yeah, he fucking... Uh, nose bleeding. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> nice stein, dog. That look good. Um, next up is going to be it's to match your cup, dude. <laughs> uh, these two guards are going to move in at the same time. Uh, this one's going to get flank on guts uh, and attack you from behind at advantage. Harry at advantage. <laughs> Shout out. Um, at, at, at advantage. 15 hit you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Guts is surrounded, boys. We need to help them. Six damage. That's halved. Three damage. 
You got it. Um, this Go guard on. is going to, um, I know he's got a sword on this thing, but he's actually going to jump, climb up here and knock an arrow shooting at Casper. Fucking nat one, dude. That's right. Uh, he somehow completely whiffs. <laughs> he somehow completely whiffs and hits this other guard. Just <laughs> yeah. up his, his stick that's supposed to be a staff and just smacks like like a hockey deflects the puck. <laughs> deflects the arrow. You want to deflect an arrow right now? You yeah, see him just jump up. <laughs> you see him jump up and just like sort of heroically knock this arrow and just as he goes to shoot it, just like and it fucking <laughs> flies in the air and hits this other guard right in the back of the calf. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> and yeah, he takes uh, four damage from that. Sneezes from the dust that Oriel knocks up when he gets slammed on the marble. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Yes, you should be the DM. Um, Fuck. We're all here to help. Let's all next up is this guard. Who's going to just shoot a spiteful look back at this fucking guy? He's like, this is how it's done. And he's going to run in and try to push uh, Casper off of the ledge. Uh, contested strength, please, my friend. Oh, he knows my weakness. Resistance. Oh, finally. Resistance. How does that work? You, get, you, uh, can add a D, it, you can add a D4 to any save. It doesn't because I got an F fucking 20, bitch. Oh, yeah. Woo! I'm not gonna. <laughs> that felt that felt so good to get cheered on for once. <laughs> oh, I got a nat twenty two. Fuck you. <laughs> Did you really, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Okay. Swear to God. Cap. Cap. Okay, Rollies. <laughs> Rollies. Yeah, you can use your you can use your uh, your extra roll on this if you want to. My resistance. Yeah. Yes, if you'd like to. I would. Oh my god, and that one. <laughs> Come no. on, roll again! Nine plus two is an eleven. Oh. And he 11. shoves your ass off the ledge! <laughs> oh, <laughs> <go DM. laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude. That's so funny. That was a high time for a nat What a roller coaster of emotion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to a now one. <laughs> dude. The way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Um, yeah, that's all he's gonna do. Uh, it's gonna go back up to the top with Sweet, I Aaron. Take no damage, huh? Fuck yeah. Wait, no, it's I, only like I, a five, I, ten foot ledge. You just you get, just get, you just get, get sent a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot, forgot to, to get put homework your, or something. I forgot to forgot to put your roll in initiative because it was so low. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's your turn, Oriel. Um, I'm gonna peel myself up off this fucking marble floor, uh, kind of taking a, a second to get up onto my feet using, uh, what, half my movement? Yep. Um, with a bonus action, I'm gonna use Misty Step for the first time and Ooh. teleport over to this Ooh. motherfucker that just pushed a uh, homie off, and I'd like to do, like, a surprise push and try to push this bitch off the fucking head, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and roll me strength. That's what is up, bitch. 18. Nice. Damn. I got a 16. Yes. Yeah, you send his ass flying. Nice. And as he's falling down off this ledge, what am I looking at as far as ledge? Five feet? It's like five, between five and ten feet. It's not enough that you would actually take fall damage if you jumped off it or anything. Okay, perfect. I'll add some damage. As he's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> as he's falling down, I'm going to cast Magic Missile at the second level and shoot all four of these beams at homie. Holy shit. Is Misty so, Step like a So you had it... You had your bonus action to Misty Step or action. I don't know what it is. It's a top. bonus action, so I have another action. Nice. So you used your action then to shove him. Okay, perfect. Never mind. I'm gonna let him fall on this bitch. Ah! <laughs> yeah. You don't have the economy for it, Lavi. God damn it! Fuck. <laughs> Go with me. Uh, next up is Aaron with guts on there. 
Fuck yeah. Um, I'm gonna brandish my greatsword and immediately go after Marcus. Right here. Alright. I'm going to roll to hit. Yeah, baby. Plus three. It's a 15 plus three. 18. That hits. Oh, just hits, I bet. Alright. Um, I'm gonna divine smite as well. So as I like take my sword and just swipe down like vertically on top of them, um, you're gonna see my sword just completely um, glow orange and and just fucking hit him with this radiance. Can I ask a question, Daddy? Real quick. Of course. Yeah. Is this a possible fiend or undead? Um, with your divine sense, is that what you mean? Um, well, Divine Smite, uh, does a, another 1d8 against fiends or undead. That's the only reason I'm asking. Um, yeah, you would get, uh, the extra 1d8 from that. Oh, shit. Hey. Okay. The right. boilers! Let me, let me roll real quick on the damage for that first one. Let me find my sixes first. That's a six. And a five. 11 plus 3, um, 14 on the greatsword damage, and then I'm going to do radiant damage. It's 2d8, that's a 7, and a 4, so it's going to be 11 radiant damage, and then one more d8, that perfect 8, so 8 more radiant damage on top of that as well. So, 19 total. Okay. Awesome. Uh, he's going to use, after your turn, a legendary action, and you see him uh, pull out another, like, sort of piece of meat from his um, from his shirt, and he's just going to start eating it. And you see that those wounds immediately start to seal up. Oh, no. Um, I, I wanted the bonus action. Uh, one more thing as well. Of course. <sighs> Um, I am going to cast um, Hunter's Mark on him. So I choose a creature. Oh, you can see the Vengeance range, Paladin. Yeah. And mystically mark it as my quarry. Until this spell ends, I deal an extra 1d6 to the target whenever I hit it with a weapon attack. Um, and any advantage on wisdom or survival checks. All right. Yeah. All uh, right. Go ahead and roll your extra Hunter's Mark damage, then. Uh, yeah, I probably should just bonus action first, honestly, with that. Um, yeah, but... just for just for the sake of... I mean, that's... Yeah. I'll give you that one. I appreciate you. <laughs> but in the future, keep no it in No more mind. in the future. No more. Yeah. Yeah, that motherfucker took a chunk. Okay, what was the, what was the outcome of the D6? Uh, it was a five, sorry. Five. Okay. Sweet. Um. And then he would have used his legendary action to heal, but I just, I did the math quick there. Uh, guts. All righty. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking. Oh man, what would uh let's see. WWGD, uh, what would guts do? Yeah, huh. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking just attack this the dude who came at me, because I'm already over it. Broken. I'm just gonna Damn. fucking Alright, hold on. Yeah, let's let's see what I roll first. Is that guard one or guard two, Guts? One. Uh, that's a nine. To hit. Yeah, and it makes contact, but he sort of is able to, to duck, and it just sort of glances off of his chainmail. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh man. Ah, fuck it. That's really all I can do. I'm stuck. Help! <laughs> <laughs> Help! 
I'm, that's my turn. Help! <laughs> <laughs> that's <damn it>. perfect. <laughs> uh, okay, Gabriel with Casper on deck. Yeah, I move over to my left, uh, to about right here. And I reach my head back, <clears throat> and I cough up some mashed potatoes, spit it on the ground, and reach my head back up again, and I cast uh, my uh, breath weapon on uh, <laughs> guard two. Oh. There's like chunks of potatoes in it. And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> little uh, fireballs. Little and that's a uh, dex 12. Maybe. I actually got to look at the modifier for this one because it's going to be close. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. 11. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So with a with a blast of is it fire? Yeah. Fire and mashed potatoes in a cone. <laughs> or in a straight line for yours, correct? A straight line from mine. Just yeah. in this fucking Kamehameha of regurgitated mashed potatoes and flame. Burn this guard potatoes. gets caught into it. Um, sending little tater tot bits everywhere. Yeah. Little What's gnocchi. the damage? <laughs> little gnocchi. Six. This is at guard two. Guard two. Six damage for guard two? Okay. And then, yeah, in my turn. Okay, Casper, you're up. Uh, is Marcus being flanked right now? So do I have advantage? Um, yeah, he would be considered flanked um, because Aaron is engaging him in combat. Beautiful. I'm gonna send a ray of sickness at him. So I'm gonna flash at him use my stick kind of like in a whippy motion and this just like green ooze of poison just whips out and just just max him with it it is a plus six Sheesh. uh dirty 20. that will hit yeah definitely fuck right. yeah that's fucking shot me 2d8 six Eight damage. Okay. And then right after I whip him like this, that I'm going to use my bu -bu 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 teleportation. A new thing about my sweet teleportation. Now that I'm level three, we are level three, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you um, are level three. After I teleport, I'm resistant to all damage until the end of my next turn, or until the beginning of my next turn. Okay, that's good to know. So I'll take half damage, right, if you're resistant? Yes, you would take half damage from any type of damage if you're resistant then. And I get away from that guard. Okay. I actually did something in combat, guys. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. First time ever, dude. Yeah. Um, this guard number one is going to, um, he's going to just take two slashes with his sword at guts. Bring it on, bitch. Bro, my rolls tonight a fucking five and a two. It doesn't even matter what my modifier <laughs> is. Let's keep it going. No, I want to be successful in killing go. you all. I'll just kick his hand. <laughs> yeah, you just like. Yeah, as he's as he's fucking swinging, dude. I'm just gonna kick his wrist. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. <laughs> Scoff at him. Uh. Aldi is going to look at Aaron and say, "No, you're you're going to deal with me and." She's going to uh, try to sort of get up behind you and put you in uh, handcuffs. Uh, roll me strength. Roll strength. Okay. Yep. Fifteen. 
plus three. Fucking nine, dude. Yeah, I so hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, but she's Bane, so it'd be even less, wouldn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. Not that it matters. Um, no. I kid, I kid. I'm still having fun. I keep telling myself this. Um, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> We're having fun. King Marcus is just going to stomp down on Blackstrand. Fuck. This guy cool. He's gonna die. Bro, if I roll a fucking another nine, I'm gonna have to buy new dice. What a shame. Uh, <laughs> shame. I'm gonna have to go get suck. brand new dice, dude. That, that I'd, would be so, suck. I'd be so upset about that. Yeah. Uh, he st goes to throw his foot down on Blackstrand, and Blackstrand, getting his wits about him again, is just going to roll slightly out of the way as his foot comes down. Whew. Um. Next up are the other three guards. We'll just kind of do this in unison. Uh, this guard is going to knock an arrow and shoot it at Oriel. Um, oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Leave Mr. Blackthorn alone. 17 plus two, 19 to hit. Fuck. God damn it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Is that oh, your you're the only one that's got that? hit. Yeah, I think that's the first time you hit. <laughs> Well, King Marcus, King Marcus got the slams in. That felt real nice. Um, but this is the only other attack that's landed so far. <laughs> um, all right. Oriole's getting his fucking shit rock. It's going to be seven more damage. Oh. Um, this is going to hit me really hard and send me to the floor and stick into my body. Uh, I have one health left. Ooh. I'm right, seething in pain, rolling around. On didn't the you have? Bleeding. Didn't you have thirty health? Twenty. Twenty. 20. Oh, that's right. Uh, oh man, one. this guard is gonna try to run back up this way. Um, he doesn't really have enough movement to get anything impressive done. Um, Carter is going to. Uh, I skipped him last time, so I'm gonna allow him to shoot three times on this round. Normally he'd get two at this range. Uh, so he's going to shoot two into King Marcus. A nat 20. Oh. Uh, that one's going to pierce into King Marcus's hand. Um, sort of pinning his hand to his arm for a second as he's reaching back into his shirt for another ham hawk. Uh, the other one's a nat one. It's just going to skip off the ground at his feet. He's immediately going to turn around, noticing this other guard's um, approach and fire one into him. Oh, OK. Carter is rolling good. Let's go, Carter. Uh, let's go, Carter. <laughs> so that's going to be. Seven and. Um, oh, seven times two, actually, because. Fuck yeah, baby. Or no, it'd be six let's go. times two. Plus one. So 12, 13 damage to King Marcus. Sheesh. And then it'll be just a little two damage to the guard number four. Um, and that leaves Oriel. Rolling over. You guys are going to see me roll over onto my hands and knees. I'm spilling blood all over the fucking floor below me uh, and I'm going to grab this arrow that's stuck in the center of my chest close my eyes, take a deep breath and cast invisibility on myself um, but I'm going to spend a sorcerer point and extend this spell using meta magic to 24 hours damn wow. <laughs> um, and I'm going to use all my movement to get up this Stairway, probably ending like right here at this like banister thing. Wow, clutch, clutch, clutch. invisibility at one health. Yeah, that's good shit, man. For real, that's gonna do it for me. So sick. Okay, Aaron with guts on deck. Fuck yeah. Um, I I'm gonna assume I'm probably at disadvantage with them both on me right now. 
Um, you're not at disadvantage, but they would be at advantage if they tried to attack you. All right, perfect. Um, at <laughs> I, I'm gonna do so. You'll you'll see me kind of stop for a second. I'm gonna take a bonus action, and um, in in the middle of both of these guys, I'm just gonna like burst into this like almost radiant bright light just shines from me and i'm going to use my channel divinity with my new oath and i am going to cast a uh, vow of enmity and i choose king okay. marcus and i gain advantage on my attack rolls against it for a minute or until it drops dead awesome Awesome. I actually, it's funny. I just was listening to podcast today, and I've heard, I heard a vow of enmity for the first time, and I was like, "That's such a fucking cool spell." Yeah, I, I almost want to flavor it as I look like a fucking Super Saiyan for fucking Dragon Ball Z right here, and I'm just gonna take a baseball bat swing right at King Marcus's face, right at the back of his head. Okay. Um, Roll to hit at advantage. Yo, plug, plug, plug. That mm -hmm. was bad. Those were two. And a fucking natural a... fucking twenty, bro. Yeah, natural yeah, dude. fucking Let's go. twenty. Absolutely. I rolled right. a two. I rolled a two. It's been so um, many nat twenties this session. And my last spell slot, I'm gonna use divine smite. <clears throat> so there's gonna be a shit ton of damage coming from this. Fifty damage cleaves his head 50 off. Fifty damage. Six. Let's go. Let's go. And a six. 12 so 15 30 great sword damage 30 base great sword damage what and then it's gonna be um hold on 2d8s gradient seven and a three so 10 so 20 radiant damage plus another d8 seven uh 14 so 34 radiant damage on top of <clears throat> he's going to use his reaction uh, to basically absorb some of that damage. Um, he's going to get a D12 off of that damage. I also have Hunter's Mark. Hold on. And that's I, another four on it. Okay. So what was the total before the four? Um jesus christ it was 230s so 30 base damage and 34 radiant so, so 64 plus yeah, four plus so 68 four. 68, 68 okay. damage you jesus motherfucker Christ, <laughs> at third level what <laughs> holy That's shit I chose Paladin, this, baby. this man just emptied the tank dude holy shit. everything he had dude he put Super into this Saiyan freaking barry bronze screen. baseball bat swing Barry Bonds, bitch. He's going to sleep after this. Barry Bonds, baby. He, he, I rolled a 12 on my uh, D12, so he absorbs 12 of that. It brings it down to 52. Okay. Um, and he uh, just takes it. And impacting with him, like, his jelly, gelatinous, sort of fleshy fucking flubber um, sort of just surrounds your blade as he's as he's using his reaction to sort of allow this to not hit as hard Damn. um the the divine smite searing into his skin um causing some of this um sort of decayed undead like skin to just start to fall off but he does not look like he's quite on his last breath yet what um, and as yeah. I kind of like take away my blade, dude, I'm just gonna look at him and I'm gonna be like, that was for fucking guts, and I'm just gonna spit in his face. Yo! He's, uh, not super hard to hit, but he is a pile of HP. <laughs> Apparently. A tanky boy. Okay. With that, it's gonna go to guts. And then Gabriel on deck. Seeing that shit inspired my my fucking motive, and I'm gonna uh, charge at King Marcus. You're gonna take two opportunity attacks. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. what's up, bro. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> so you let me know. He's unconscious. Dirty 20 and a 7, so the dirty 20 hits. 
30, 20 hits, yeah. And damage from guard two as you run past his movement, uh, past his melee area. So that's half to five. Okay. All right. So now I'm fucking at Marcus and I'm gonna, let's see. I'm going to just fucking balls to the wall. <clears throat> Reckless attack his ass. I'm gonna try and cut off one of his hands so he cannot grab whatever the fuck's in his pockets to heal. Okay. Roll to hit, my friend, at advantage because of Mark. your reckless attack. Yes, sir. Uh, 23. 23 nice. definitely hits, yeah. Cool. And then that'll be... And with Divine Fury as well. So 16 points of damage. Oh, wait, 16, 17, 18, 18. Okay. And yeah. then... Um, I will Draconic Cry. So I'm just fucking fiending right now. I'm just going to yell out, just fucking... Yeah! And uh, enemies within 10 feet, uh, have anyone who attacks them has advantage. Basically, until my the start of my next turn. Until the start of your next turn. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Fantastic. All right, Gabriel, it's you with Casper on deck. So I'm going to square up towards Marcus. And I'm going to kind of burp. And as I burp, like, I kind of, like, close my lips together. And it's kind of like a torch of flame coming out. And it starts off as orange and slowly turns blue. And I run my great sword along it and I uh, use searing smite as my uh, great sword turns like orangish and I sprint and uh, kind of do like a spinning move with my great sword and slash right across Marcus's stomach yo fuck yeah dog and that's at advantage right it would be yes because of guts's uh, draconic cry plug bum, 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 bum. 19 Nice. 19 hits. Let's go. That's what's up, bro. Nine damage. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from the guy with one HP hiding in the corner. <laughs> um, yeah, he takes that nine damage uh, and just sort of looks into your looks into your eyes. You know, you cannot defeat me. And he's just looking fucking pissed. Um, next up is Casper. Okay. Casper is going to see the attack on Marcus and join in. I'm gonna peek around the corner right here and cast another ray of sickness at him. Um, advantage again. Yeah, every every attack against him is gonna be an advantage right now because of. Ooh, nat 20. The Draconic nice. Cry. Let's go, baby. Natural 20. So I roll. Oh, nice. What a clutch yes. move. We're rolling good tonight. Cry is sick. I'm rolling Ooh, really good tonight. Eight and two eights, dude. Let's Ooh. go. What's Let's 16? go. 16 times two. 32. 32. 32. Hell yeah. And then I forgot to mention this last time, but uh, he rolls a constitution save uh, 14. And if he fails, he will be poisoned, which means he'll have disadvantage on ability saves and attack throws. But let me Wait. flavor this. I'll raise up my staff and a sinister coiling whip of poison energy will whip out. And as this poison is flying through, mist is flying everywhere and it just surrounds it surrounds Marcus and just seeps into his body, just absorbing him in poison and necrotic energy. Gang shit. Nice. Gang gang. Very good, very good. Um 
Yeah, he rolled a 14 plus 5 for his constitution, so... So he's not poisoned, but he did take some damage. Yeah. Not poisoned, but took some How's damage. How's he looking? Uh, he's looking a little run down. Okay, I'm going to hide back around this corner. Um, next up is going to be guard one, who is going to, um, yeah, he's going to run up and toss out a small handful of caltrops, um, and they're going to scatter in the area right about here. Um, it'll cause a little bit of damage for anybody who's going to run through that area. Caltrops are what? It's like like jacks, basically. Hmm. Spiky? Spiky. Yeah. 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 Spiky. They slow your movement, too. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically considered rough terrain in that small, small area. Damn. Um, and then he is going to on guts cast um oh what was it here he is yeah we haven't killed anyone yet no this is a tough Everyone battle is and I'm still alive I take one more anything I am dead <laughs> You're hidden, I'm, dude. I have, hidden. Hold, I, I have to hold concentration, though. I can't even attack. Well, it's better than you dying. Dude's a fucking beast. There we go. I feel like I might have to break concentration. I could not think of the word sacred for the fucking life of me. Um, he's going to cast sacred flame on you, Guts. Fuck. What a fucking loser, dude. Dude, what a idiot one's loser a clown, pleb. dude. Dexterity saving throw. Uh, DC is going to be 13. Oh, I think one. I... What do I? Jibola. There's something about dex save throws in here. Hold on. When you're raging, I'm pretty sure you get dex and strength at advantage. Yep. Uh, Plus he's throwing. There's been like so a much rage. advantage going on in this he's episode. I'd like attack at, like from you standing right in front of it. Beating so. the plug to death. <laughs> There's. Dude, I swear I saw something earlier. It's not. It's not my rage that I saw it. Hold on, I'm sorry. You're fired. <laughs> no, you guys waited for like five and a half minutes for me to get this map pulled up. I think I can wait a couple seconds for you to <laughs> figure out if you have advantage. Just a couple not. seconds, though. Uh, oh, wait, there we go. On decks against effects that you can see. I have advantage on effects that I can see while not blinded, deafened, or incapacitated, but it's coming from behind, so that's fine. Okay. I don't so see it. Nineteen. Nineteen. Yeah, you save. Um, you feel this sort of this yeah. this heat start to form around your feet, and you look down, and there's this small sort of ring of fire that's about to shoot up in a column around you, um, and you sort of just see that it just fizzles back down into the floor. What the um, fuck? Next up is going to be King Marcus. Oh, Fuck. No. Bring it on, old man. Bring it um, on. He is going to. Um, he's going to jump straight up into the air. Ah. Uh, and <laughs> five hundred pounds. Just and you see his form sort of <clears throat> engorge as he spreads his body out. His bones sort of. <sighs> And he's enlarging God. till he's about 12 feet tall yeah, and he's going to field. come down. Um, he's going to come down and <laughs> oh, land on Guts and Aaron. No. Oh, fuck. Um, so that would be a dex saving throw from you guys. Man. God damn it. This one you can see, so you can get this one. At, at there we are. <laughs> Um, fuck, I have no Look. modifier. 12. Look. 14. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's gonna be a shitload of damage coming your way. If I can roll something other than fucking ones for game. I hope you don't. 
I hope you don't. There we go. Just let me know the end end number. I just want to know the end number so I can cry. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen damage. That's it. Fourteen damage. That's, That's it. Half, oh, baby. Let's see. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. After his turn is going to be the guards. Um, this guard's going to run in and um, with two daggers, just start to slice at guts. So two swipes at you. OK, dude, guts you guys is like, are I know the closest. Guts has been so targeted this fight. <laughs> He's been the closest to those two guards for this yeah. entire fight. And they're not really uh, super intelligent dudes, so they're not really like strategic. Yeah, he's also <laughs> fucking tanking everything like a champ. Dude. Yeah, he is. And I keep rolling like shit because I rolled another three and a four. <laughs> um, so we'll, so uh, we'll round up to four. <laughs> yeah, because it's half. So. Oh, no, that was to hit. Oh, three oh you and missed. Four to hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you missed. Pussy. <laughs> this guard is going to. I'm just gonna turn around to straw. <laughs> this guy is going to turn and sort of leap over here. He's gonna take the initiative to sort of move around to get eyes on Casper. Um, he's going to knock an arrow into his bow. This time, it's going to immediately burst into flames. Um and let it arrow loose. 14 plus three, 17 to hit. The hits. Is this necrotic damage by any chance? This is not necrotic damage, it is fire damage. Well, it's gonna be five piercing, four fire. So nine damage total. All right. Right to my fucking chest. Right to their fucking chest. Um, this guard is going to He's going to just close the distance onto um, Carter and try to get a couple quick hits. Uh, What's well, just going to be one hit, actually. Um, got you, Chase. Just give me a quick second here. Um, he's going to miss, and then King Marcus is going to take out another handful of food from his chest. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? And he is going to... You're going to see some wounds start to close up. This guy's got 20 legendary oh, actions. Yeah, uh, insane, dude. You get three. He gets three legendary actions. Um, these ones don't reset every turn, but he's used two of them so far. So yeah, well, that should be his last. Oh, just that one or because he used that one to dodge. He used one to heal. That was just a reaction. That wasn't a legendary action. Oh, oh I think. OK, that's just a reaction. This yeah, you said legendary. <laughs> Well, no, I, I meant to say just reaction. Uh, the the healing is a legendary action, legendary. but when he oh, okay. absorbed some of that damage, it was just a reaction. It was yeah. similar to like Stone's Endurance, is what I was kind yeah. of equating it to. Okay, but well, didn't yeah, he? No, I got it, no. Damn, dude! Didn't you that's use one to crazy. like negate my? That's what he, that's what we were Web. just talking about. That's the one. That's the reaction. Uh, okay, that's what we were just talking about. Yeah. 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 Fucker. That guy. No, that crazy. was a legendary resistance to negate. Oh. Uh, Fuck, dude. This guy's yeah. low all around, dude. This guy's so fucking legendary. low. Making fucking legendary resistance, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, <laughs> does it take to take down the Sigmund? Well, we're gonna finish that up here for tonight. You guys will come back and see God, if there will bastards. be a victory or failure with King Marcus. We're all gonna the go sin on. of gluttony. Come back next uh, week. Next week. Yeah. All die. TPK, yeah. TPK. Oh. I had it planned for weeks. He's gonna do 100 damage. Area effect. You're all gonna be fucking killed. <laughs> um, Cheater. 
I don't get Fuck, people to bro. play like that. But anyways, uh, just a couple quick things. Uh, Bryce taking a couple weeks off. Uh, go see some family, do some vacation-y type stuff for the holidays. You. So we miss you, Bryce. Thank you so much for all the help you've given us. But yeah, also, but every... round of applause for Joel, because yeah. he basically <laughs> did Bryce's right. job and played the game at the same time tonight, which is impressive as shit. Fantastic. I'm fucking sweaty, bro. I'm sweaty Big. right now. Big. Um, other than that, check us out on Instagram at Advantage DND, uh, TikTok at Advantage. Check out Shadowcraft Prints on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, check out his Etsy store. Buy some minis. Can you from check him out? Two He's days. got a dog, man. He tried to, just to support his dog. He's trying to put his dog in yeah. college. <laughs> Feed the dog, dude. <laughs> um, Without you guys, he'll starve. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Check out, uh, check out the links in our uh, little description area to our YouTube. Um, if you have anybody that's interested in our, our content or you just want to go back and rewatch some stuff, our entire catalog of things are there. I think we've got like upwards of maybe close to 20 hours of content on there now. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, so oh, yeah, so go check it out and, and, and binge it for a little while. It's, it's oh, a lot and of fun. So. We're starting a, like a podcast sort of stream as well to, to recap and... It'll That's evolve. right. Yeah, yep. it's gonna be it's gonna be just a little discussion podcast that we're gonna that we're gonna run a couple days a week. Uh, yeah. it, it might be different people each time. It might be all of us. It might be a couple of us. But uh, that's all we've got for you tonight. So thank you for the long-winded exit here. We love you all. See you next time, love you guys. Peace. Thank Peace. you.